Okay, so today we're going to be going over the concepts from our last class in which we talked about basic motor movement. So we're going to go over that. So I'll start by opening up Robot C and let's click File, New File. And I'm going to call this, we'll call this the Labyrinth Challenge because that's what we're going to be going over today. Okay, so I have this Labyrinth Challenge and since we're going to be working in the robot virtual world, there's two main steps that we need to take. First step is to change the compiler target to virtual worlds. And then the second set step is actually a shortcut for our Pragma configurations that we did in the last class. So go to standard model, go to select configuration, click that drop down and do square bot because that's what we're going to be using. So click apply and OK. So now now that we have everything set up, let's time. It's time to basically look at our challenge, see what we're going like up against. So let's compile and download so that we can open up our curriculum companion, our robot virtual world. Let me log in. The movement. And let's start the activity. So let's click on the second camera. And now we can basically see that our goal is to get from this red box to this black box and we're still going to have to move forward turn left 90 degrees move forward turn right 90 degrees move turn right and then we'll get into this zone so let's go ahead and just start coding so we have motor right motor is equal to 127 and we talked about last class that 127 represents the like it's a uh, full capacity for power of the motor right zero to 127 and as a baseline let's just say three seconds okay so let's compile this program and download it to the robot so it's gonna open up our virtual world again movement start activity and let's just see how far it goes so uh it's pretty good it's got up to three that's pretty good let's um but in my case let's just say we want it to go halfway so a little bit less we'll go to maybe 2.5 that'll be pretty good 2.5 so let me compile Download to robot. Let me restart this. And okay, yeah, so it's a little better, right? right? About half. So now we want this to turn 90 degrees to the left. So the way we do a point turn again is we do motor right motor. And this is usually going to take a lot of trial and error but previously I found the closest thing to what's going to be a 90 degree turn right and that's going to be if we wait 0 0.61875 of a second so let's just test that out download that to the robot So now we see our robot goes forward and then he turns, right? So that's pretty straight. So now our next step is going to be to obviously go forward, turn right, go forward, turn right, and in there. And we don't want, we want to do this without touching any of these borders and the wall. So let's continue that. So let's just copy and paste this see if 2.5 is also going to be uh, an appropriate distance to go without us failing so so we try oh clicked out of it okay so 2.5 uh we need to go a little bit farther so we can get in the clear so i'll just make it uh three maybe that might be too much we'll see
Okay. Okay. Three is a little too much. So let's try again. We'll say 2.8. Download to robot. Okay. That's also a little bit too little. I just want to be extra like in the safe here. So let's just try 2.9. Okay, looks good, looks good. Yep, I think we found like the perfect balance. So now all we have to do now is turn to the right 90 degrees. So we can go ahead and copy this code. And the only difference is in this case, the right motor will be moving back, whereas the left motor will be going forward. And that should work out nicely. Download to robot. Yep. And yep, turns. Okay, nicely done. So now we're going to have to go straight, turn right again, and get into that zone. So let's copy this code right here because copy and paste is our friend. And we'll just say 2.2 .2 maybe. Hopefully it doesn't touch any walls. Nice. Okay, seems to be right there, exactly there. So now what we're going to want to do is again, copy this right turn code, put that in and see if we just have to go forward a little bit and we'll be done. We'll have completed the challenge. We'll have beaten the Lapland challenge. So let's try this out. Okay, nice. Okay, exactly. And now we're just going to have to go straight. So, and let's just stay for one second to be safe. Mm, I don't know, did we beat it? I don't say anything. Okay, I think we've completed it. Yep. Oh, okay, actually, maybe we're going forward a little too much right here. So let's just make that two. Just make it two. And I see all these warnings here. I'll fix those in a second. I see, I think I know what the issue is. So we try this again with our new code. Oh, yep. Exactly. Nice. Success. So now let's deal with all these errors. So the actual issue is. I've been calling these right motors with the lowercase lowercase m and obviously robot C is case sensitive. So the issue is that if we click on robot and we go to motor and sensor setup, we'll see that the name is actually right motor with a capital M. So two solutions. One is obviously make right motor and left motor a lowercase m instead of, instead of a capitalized M. Or we can just go ahead and change all of these to a capital M and that should make the issue disappear. Okay, let's compile hopefully all those 
Whip and all those warnings gone away. Download to robot. And let's run our code one last time. Make sure that all is well. Movement. Start activity. Let's run this thing. Okay. 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 Good job. So, yep. So I think we're done for today. And that's how to basically use the simple movement, uh, tools that we're using right now and basically pass this labyrinth. This is all manual, obviously. So we're using just simple point turns and motor forwards and weights. So, yep. That's it for today.